good morning. It is finally cold enough to wear winter-ish attire outside. I think it's like 32 degrees here in Columbus. Hold on stairs. Anyway, happy Friday. You guys will probably see this on either Saturday or Sunday, but I hope your week went well. This week has been rough because tonight I open a musical, so this entire week has been tech week. So I would go from work in the office straight to the theater until 11 o'clock at night and then get up and do it all over again. I'm looking at myself in this viewfinder, you guys, and I just look so tired and I can hear it. Ooh. I realized I haven't vlogged in a long time. So if you're new to these parts, I have just finished tech week and opened the musical Dream Girls. Here's a fun bit. Here's last night's sound check. <laughs> in a while so I figured let's make it today it'll get us through Friday and then normally you would rest on the weekend but no we're gonna do two shows on Saturday and one show on Sunday and then somewhere in there I will find time to sleep and I figured I wasn't gonna film anything this weekend so I said let's just put a vlog up for you all so this is it somebody asked me how I keep my skin healthy with how much I wash it from all the shows that I do and I know I uploaded the video of my skincare routine after Pirates closed. Um, I was in Pirates at Penzance last month. So Penzance last month, Dream Girls this month. But in the evenings, I'll come home and I'll take off all the makeup and I'll cleanse, tone, moisturize. And in the morning, I just use this like really creamy organic cleanser my mom found for me. It's called Avalon Organics. If you're interested, I'll link it below, but of course it's not sponsored. It's just something I needed so I wasn't stripping my face in the evening and then stripping it again in the morning. It's worked pretty well. I can't hide the fact that I am exhausted, but that's okay. Last year when I did shows, I didn't have a nine to five. I was a substitute teacher. So I was able to choose on the computer and on a calendar the days I would substitute teach and the days I wouldn't. And if I got into a show, I would substitute teach a lot in the beginning of rehearsals. That way I didn't have to sub. I had the money to pay my bills and all that jazz during tech week and then the opening week so I can you know rest my body and rest my voice it's not like that this time I'm trying to hold on to my personal days I'm trying to hold on to a few so I can have a longer vacation between Christmas and New Year and then perhaps take a few over and float them to the 2018 corporate America calendar year all right it is time to go get some coffee I've gotten a few things done and I have solidified I can tell you now I have booked myself a commercial I am going to do a commercial for a nonprofit here in Columbus and the exciting part is is it will be filmed and voiced over at ABC the television studio here in Columbus I think ABC and Fox share a studio but the commercial will be shot next week and then my part of this project is I'll be doing the voiceover which you can clearly hear in my voice right now anyway we'll have more talks about this when I'm not sitting in my office so let's go get some coffee and have a chat I was going to continue this vlog outside, but it is too loud, so I just jumped into my car. But I am a whole new woman thanks to this. I don't know, I'm gonna go back and look at this footage and see if I sound any different or look any different, but this is a Colbert coffee 
with an extra shot of espresso. So someone will be awake for the show tonight. I thought about it while I was in Starbucks. When I get home at the end of the day, I'm gonna take you guys along with me when I do my basic hair and makeup. The, in the show Dream Girls, I am blonde. Look at me, mister, I'm a star. Look at me, mister, I'm and I wear glasses so I don't have to have a lot of makeup on my eyes. It's mainly just foundation and blush on the cheeks because you don't see as much of my eyes behind the 1960s style of glasses. But I'm going to take you guys with me to show you how this hair goes up into pin curls and a wig cap. That's actually why it's not washed and it just looks kind of curly. It's because it gets twisted up into pin curls and then there's a cap that goes on top of it and then there's makeup. It's a whole process. I'll show it in a time lapse so I can still listen to a Google playlist. Speaking of playlists, I am looking for new music. Can you guys let me know what albums are good, what you're listening to, or if you do Google Play Music, what playlists you like so I can find them. Leave them down below because I just, I'm in need of new music. I just jumped on the Coldplay train. Leave me comments down below because that would be good. <sighs> I was in there for about a half an hour just answering some emails, getting some things taken care of, and cleaning out my laptop. I'm trying to keep my laptop as clean as possible, like the files inside the drive. That way I can keep my editing software running as best as possible because I'm not home enough to use my actual desktop computer to edit. I'm editing a lot more on my laptop, so when I go home, there are no electronics out. I can just drink water, relax, recoup, get some sleep. I'm trying to do more on the laptop, but I'm not really good at cleaning out files. I got an external, and I'm trying to move files over and figuring out what to keep and what to toss, but alas, we will figure that out. But back to the commercial story, I booked this gig not by auditioning, but by just knowing a woman who works for the nonprofit. She's seen me give a few presentations in my day job and she's read some reviews online, including the one from Pirates of Penzance. If you remember that video, I linked my actual review in the Columbus Dispatch newspaper and she read it. And she approached me an email and she said, Kristen, I work for this nonprofit and we've been looking for somebody to do a voiceover for our artist filmed commercial and rather than go out and do the search we just want to know if you would do it can you send us a clip reading this script so I printed her script went home recorded it on my microphone and sent it in and she said yep we would love to book you for this uh, probably the first week of December here's all the paperwork here's where we'll be doing the recording and I am gonna try to take this vlog camera into ABC Studios. I think ABC and Fox both own the building, but I think that's so cool. I've never recorded in this studio before. I have done like the local news, but ABC and Fox Studio are closer to my home. And if I can take you guys with me to do a voiceover for a commercial, I definitely will. Some of you guys have been asking about updates regarding the NBC reality docuseries that I am currently in the middle of auditioning for. And by auditioning, I mean sending in videos of singing and doing Skype interviews. The last time I heard from them, my most recent update was a week ago. They said they are still in negotiations to figure out who they're officially casting, the, the dates they'll be filming, editing, all that fun stuff. I mean, I don't deal with any of that and everybody's been asking, when will you know, when will you know? And it's just been a game of when they call me. As far as I'm learning in the world of television, it's very much a don't call us, we'll call you. But I did hear from them last Friday. They asked me for a W-9 form. They wanted to verify I'm a U.S. citizen, I can work in the States, what have you, whatever else you get from a W-9 form. But they did make it clear that having a W-9 form did not guarantee that I had a spot. They just want to make sure all their finalists, you know, are capable of accepting if they get the offer. When will I hear from them? When will I know? When will it be official? Honestly, I, I don't know. I wish I could tell you. I wish I knew all of the answers, but until they call me, I'm just hanging out here, living the life, living the dream. Anyway, because it is such a beautiful day outside, I'm gonna walk to the bank and make sure I have all my November finances in order and everything's moved over where it needs to be. I know millennials do a lot more banking online, on their phones. 
I deposit all of my voice lessons checks in my living room. I don't ever have to step foot in a bank, but I'm trying to get better about it so I can meet the people at my local bank, know them so in the event something changes with my mortgage or I want another mortgage or a loan or something, I know who to talk to and I've established that relationship. On the topic of banks, somebody asked me in an interview a few days ago, what is my number one savings tip that I use? Like, what's my secret sauce to making sure I'm always saving money no matter how much I'm making? How do I guarantee I'm putting money in my savings or investments every month? And I said my personal savings habit is to always take 10% of my income after paying off all my fixed expenses, whatever I have left, let's say it's $100, I will take 10% of that, so 10 in that example, 10% of my leftover money always goes to savings. It doesn't matter how much it is, doesn't matter how little it is, I essentially tax myself. This guarantees no matter what happens each month, if I have leftover money, 10% of that always goes to savings. And why that works for me and everybody else I talk to is that the more you make, the more you will save. You don't have to think, oh, it's always gonna be $100, and then if you get a raise, you'll have more play money and be more incentivized to spend it. If it's 10%, it's 10%. If it's $100 or $1,000. If 10% is too much for you, go with 5% and then go up as you can. But keeping it at a percentage just like taxes do. If the government can tax you based on percentage, why can't you tax yourself on percentage? It will always keep money in your account. It will always guarantee that you have paid yourself first before you go out and spend the rest of your income. That is my personal savings tip. That is what I do. That is what has saved me money no matter what situation I'm in. If I'm booking a lot of gigs and I make an extra thousand dollars in a month, guess where a hundred dollars is going to go without question. It's going to go into my savings account. Always, always, always and months that I'm not working extra and I only have maybe $300 to spend that month $30 going to that bank account I've trained myself to think this way and I've trained myself just to make it a habit I don't even think of anymore I don't think there are any bank options at least with Chase that allow you to take out a percentage on a monthly basis so I just make sure at the end of every month I sit down I look at how much money I'm gonna have coming in for the next month and then I say, okay, what's 10% of that? Make sure I schedule a date and I move it right in. Anyway, I'm gonna go to the bank and then I'm gonna go back to the office. I've got two conference calls and then I think I'm done for the day. I have a little bit of time in between the conference calls, so I'm going to schedule the month of November in terms of like video and what you guys wanna see. If you guys have any video requests, leave them down below. Also, I'm gonna put a poll right here. I did a home office tour, but some people have been asking for an office tour of like my day job if that is something that interests you and be honest if it doesn't just say no it's not gonna hurt my feelings up here in the poll do you guys want to see a day job office tour right here click yes or no and I will see you guys in a little bit let's get this day done and then I will take you guys home and we will do hair and makeup for dream girls I'm sorry that this light is horrible. It's just, it gets darker a lot earlier in the day. But as you can see, um, the work day's over and I've got about, about a half an hour until I have to be at the theater. And I am going to put this hair up into uh, pink curls. I, oh, you guys can see my pink flowers. Oh, somebody wants in here. Hold on. Somebody was crying because I had the door closed. Charlotte. I didn't get rid of the black cat. This is just Desiree's new friend, but we'll introduce her in a future video. But I finished work and then to celebrate opening night and because I had saved for it and had a coupon, I went to Soma. I don't know if you guys have Soma where you're from, but it's basically like a and underwear for women, good, well-made bras and underwear and gym clothes. I've never talked about this on my channel, but I have a really hard time finding 
like underwear that is good quality, that will last, that's just, it supports where it needs to. It, it does its job, essentially. I have a very hard time finding that because a lot of places are either super expensive and crappy or cheap and crappy. Soma, it's not the cheapest place in the world, but three months ago, I got two sports bras. I ran a 5K, trained, and I'm now doing Insanity in them, and they are great. I don't really talk about this stuff very much, but like every kid had insecurities growing up and mine was the fact that I developed, so to speak, before like girls in my class. So I was the girl that always lived in sports bras. I still kind of live in sports bras, but Soma is kind of changing the game. This sounds like a sponsored video. I promise you it's not, but um, they came out with a line of like full coverage, minimizing bras that have like a seamless back so you won't see it with the t-shirt on it just it's smooth on the back and it supports great and so i went and i got myself like six bras and underwear and pajamas but my rule is for every new piece of underwear or clothing that comes in the house another one has to be donated so whatever i bring in i have to give that away it kind of keeps me um from going over the edge it kind of keeps you from splurging too much and I had a 20% off coupon, but because I spent over $100, it became a 30% off coupon. If you wanna see how I'm gonna go from looking like this to this, then just keep watching. No, it is not yet Halloween. Good morning, it's the next day and I forgot to close out the vlog last night. Christopher, what's the forecast? Uh, it's gonna be nice, sunny, probably high in the low 70s. He's a liar. It is 30 some degrees, I'm going downstairs. <laughs> it's 30 some degrees outside and it's snowing. I really hope you guys can see that it's snowing. We are going to go to a restaurant, have breakfast. It's called Bob Evans. We're also 65 years old. Christopher hasn't been on the vlogs in a while, so I wanted to throw him on here because we were getting some comments like, wife material, beautiful and frugal, to which Christopher said. Yeah, better than beautiful and fertile. I guess he has a point. Anyway, we're gonna go eat some breakfast and then I have a two show day for Dream Girls. But I hope you guys liked the behind the scenes footage that I've already shared in this video. I've gotta play Mario. That's my day vlog, people. Is anybody playing the new Mario? If you are or know anyone that is, leave a message for Christopher down below and I'll actually and put tell a poll. Me how many moons you have? I'll make a poll for you guys in the cards right here. It'll say, how many moons do you have? And I'll leave an option for, I don't have any moons. I have a life. Just kidding, I love you. I don't have a life. Anyway, you guys have a great weekend. And if I don't post this until Monday, have a great week. I will talk to you guys all later. If you like vlog style videos, we haven't done them in a while. Let me know by giving this one a thumbs up. Don't be that guy getting pulled over in the snow. What is that? Is someone okay? And all that good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. It's time for food. Okay, bye.